Hello guys, I'd like to introduce you to the Helium 10 tool, Listing Analyzer. Now this is a tool maybe that has functions that you're not familiar with because not many tools have anything like this. As a matter of fact, the full functionality of this tool, no tool out there has. So let me just explain maybe who would use this tool and under what circumstances. So first of all, who is this tool for? Probably if you're a private label seller, you would get the most out of this tool because what it does, it can give you at a glance, either a single product or a group of products, some high level information about that product or products, plural. Uh, you can look at things such as how many reviews it has, what kind of listing optimization quality they have. Uh, how does it compare to the other products in their niche? What are some of the top keywords that are generating sales potentially for that product or group of products. And then you can even get some advanced information such as their image strategy. So in this video, I'm gonna show you um, a lot of the different menus and columns and what they mean on how to look at one particular or one singular ASIN. And then the next videos, I'm gonna show you some more advanced features in the tool. You guys ready? Let's go ahead and hop right into it. So I'm gonna be here first of all in uh, Amazon and let me just uh, copy the ASIN from one of these products here. Let's go ahead and uh, copy this one. I can just click on this. And I'm gonna go ahead and go to Listing Analyzer now, and I'm gonna paste it right here, all right? Now, as soon as I paste it, it will goes ahead and recognizes as, uh, as an ASIN here. In the later video, like I said, I'm gonna paste other ASINs here as well. I have the history uh, right here of all of the searches that I've done, so I can pull that up here. And let's go ahead and analyze this ASIN. All right, so, um, first of all, let me just tell you that some of this information, depending on the level of Helium 10 account have, you might not have full visibility, but if you have a diamond and above plan, you're going to see everything that I'm seeing here. All right. So since I entered only one ASIN, only one product is going to show here and it's showing me the listing quality score. I'm going to get a, a little bit more into that in a little bit. Uh, it tells me where the seller is from. This one is from the Republic of Korea. Uh, this one here is the uh, rating, a uh, review count, how old the listing is, is fairly new. It's only four months old. The retail price, estimated sales and revenue, the fulfillment, how many keywords it has in the top 10. And of those keywords in the top 10, what is the total search volume? That's actually pretty valuable information to see. You can kind of see its market penetration that way. Now, remember how I mentioned that there's this listing quality score? Well, this is a lot more detailed than the one that we have in the Chrome extension. And here it breaks down that score. All right. So it's 8.5. Well, what makes up this score? It talks about the title not containing symbols, uh, the title having 150 characters at least or not, which is usually best practice. And, and again, guys, these are based on best practices overall. There might be some categories where, you know, you can't do 150 characters, but this is just a general uh, best practice. Uh, guideline and baseline that we have here. Um, the first, making sure the first letter of the bullet points is capitalized, that the bullet points are not in all caps. They actually got a, a negative mark because of that. And that they have at least a thousand characters in the description or they have A plus content. We also break down some of their media, you know, like do they, how's the, the pixels that how many do they have at least 1000 by 1000? How many images do they have? Do they have video, uh, et cetera? All right. Now that's a great way to look at the listing optimization. Uh, here we look at some of the top products in that niche and then give you their market average. So here's the product that we had. And as you saw up here, it had about 4,600 estimated sales, but the market average is about 5,000. So it's right there around the uh, average. Here's the average price. You can see that's actually a very expensive product compared to other products in the niche. Um, how the number of reviews stack up and other parts here. One of my favorite parts is the top keywords analysis. So as you guys saw up here, there's 221 uh, keywords that it has in the top 10. And uh, of those keywords, it has a total search volume of over 200,000. So basically every month, there are 200,000 searches where this product is showing up on page one, position one through 10. And you can see the position here of all of these keywords. If, if some of these are truncated, I can just put my mouse here and let me just make this a little wider so I can see the full keywords here. So we see a lot of branded searches. This is white stone dome. It was a uh, one the last time helium 10 checked and some general keywords here like S22 ultra screen protector glass. It was position one. 
and then you could see some of those keywords that are listed here. And then if I wanted to go out and see the rest of those keywords, I would hit here, see full list of keywords in Cerebro. So just by putting in an ASIN, I get tons of information here. Uh, one more thing I want to show you guys is what these symbols mean. Right here, this is magnet. So if I wanted to search this keyword in magnet and get some more keywords related to this, I can do that. If I just want to search this keyword uh, on Amazon, I would hit this button. Uh, this button here uh, shows that a different product showed up as Amazon's choice for this keyword. All right, so it's kind of like grayed out here. If there is ever a full color uh, Amazon logo, that means that this product itself was Amazon's choice for that keyword the last time we checked. As we can see here, there are no keywords where it had Amazon's choice for that uh, keyword. All right, so again, guys, this is just an absolute great tool to use to get some high-level information on a single ASIN. But where you really get the benefit, guys, is when you put multiple ASINs, and you can put a lot of ASINs here, and that is when the magic happens. So make sure to check the next video so that you can understand what kind of information shows when you have multiple ASINs there and how you can use that information for your Amazon business. We'll see you in the next video.